Hi, I'm Abdul, developer advocate at Doctero, and in this video, I will be demonstrating how to connect your PyCharm's Python interpreter to Octero. And why do you need such connections? In an event where you're running an experimental version of a programming language, which you do not have on your local machine, but you need it to work on a particular project, and you have your PyCharm RDE, this is where it comes to play. At Octero, our main goal is to make development easier for users that is without having to think of installing tools locally having to install requirements locally you can undo all this in your development environment in octero and in the previous video i demonstrated how to use and deploy sorry how to use and develop your applications in octero's development environment and in today's video the focus will be on connecting your pychimes ide to octero's development environment via ssh as always how do you do that. The first step is to run Octero login. Our Octero login does is it creates a link between your CLI and your cluster. That is, it makes it valid. That is, you can run commands and it communicates with your cluster without hassles. Now, what's the next step? It's to create a development environment. Like I said earlier, you have to connect it to your development environment, not your de deployment, because deployments have limited ports. And it is better because you don't want to actively deploy work on your de deployment. It's it's very risky and against say, the way we work normally. So development environment which Octel provides, we're going to make use of that. So the first step is to create an Octel manifest. So you, when you run Octel init, it scans through the list of deployments you have currently. And for this video, we're going to use the API deployments. So we click on this. It analyzes to know what tools to provide, what programming language are you using, what kind of files you want to ignore and those you don't want to ignore, and click on this. If you click on Python packages here before we move further, you can see that we don't have any interpreter, so we can't see any installed packages. So you go back to the terminal, our manifest has been created. So let's look at it. Now manifest, we have the name of the deployment, the command, the volumes, what folders are we synchronizing, what ports are we folding, and what ports is in the reverse mode. So how do you connect to your SSH? Now, you're going to add under SSH ports, remotes. At Octero, you the ports for connecting to SSH is 2222. Two, two, two. And so when you run this, you run Octero up. By activating your deployment container, you are giving Octero access to your own deployment as you can develop your deployment actively make changes and this is an interesting um, feature we have here it is the best feature i think so far at octero which is development environment so you run Octero up octero sets all these spots in action that means okay yes you can now work with these spots so the next step is to add an interpreter so we're going to add an interpreter here and on the list of python interpreters to add in your pycharm you have virtual environments you have um, conda you have system interpreter you have pipe env you have ssh vagrant docker docker compose and we are interested in the ssh interpreter so how do you do this we're going to click on existing server configurations and we're going to click on these three dots here and we're going to make a new configuration on this page, the host for your SSH is localhost. So you have localhost. And the ports, like in your manifest, is going to be, let's see, it's going to be 2222-1234. And the username is going to be root here. And instead of using a password, we use a key pair. And your key pair is stored in your for Mac users, it is stored at users, your username, in a dot Octero folder, and ID underscore RSA underscore Octero. So this is a key pair value. So the next thing you want to do is to test your connection if it works. If our connection is successful, it means our development container is up and running and we can, you know, work to this. And when you look at this, it's successfully connected means okay yes you can connect to our ssh container so let's click ok and um okay so the next step we click on next 
Now, you disable the automatically upload project files because Octet automatically synchronizes your code. You see, we make all these things come in handy without you having to bother yourself with all this excess stress. So we change the interpreter. It is stored at Octet local bin Python and change this to you go back to your manifest and you can see the synchronization folder is at API. So you change this to forward slash API and you click on OK. Now, click on finish. <clears throat> and in this stage, PyCharm tries to connect and install the helpers you need. As you can see here, you have a PyCharm folder. That is PyCharm installing all the helper files you might need. And while this is running, we want to run PIP install. We want to install all the requirements here. So we can, when you click on this side, so we click on this and you can monitor the changes here. You can see it's updating Python interpreter and using PyCharm helpers. And okay, so we're just going to sit back for a while and wait for this to finish. And now we have indexes of being updated and we're connecting to localhost as well of this is our Python interpreter. And if you look at our Docker file here, we have this version of Python 3.8.2. And when we connected this to Octero, yeah, it automatically determined the version of Python we're going to use. You can see it here, Python 3.8.2. So, like I said earlier, this is useful when you have experimental versions of Python because now this particular interpreter is not installed locally. That is, if your development container is not active, you can't access it. That is, whatever instances of um, Python you run is connected directly to your container. That is nothing. You have no interference or business with any packages installed locally. And before this process, I installed all the packages we need in the development container. That is, if you can look at our file directory here, we don't have any virtual environments folder or any folder where we installed our, that houses our packages and their files. No, we don't want to leak our machine. Octave environment does all that. So now we have it installed in our development environment. And while we wait for this to finish up so we can list the python packages we have just to confirm that yes this is correctly configured and connected via ssh so we're going to just give a few more minutes and now we have our remote python interpreter connected directly to octero so how do we know this works when i click on python packages i can see the requirements are installed without having to even flinch and these are not installed locally but how do I have access to them? How much should they work? When I go to Python console here, we connect to our console and check remote helpers. That's we're connecting to Octavius Python, um, you know, console. So whatever command I run here is the same as running Python in my development container. So let's wait for it starts. And you can see here, I can see from Flask. I can see from Flask. I can see import, you know, anything. And it works. If I go to okay, this is this gives an error because of course this is a whole lot of things I'm importing. But if I go to my normal, let's say I create a new terminal install I say Python here, and I do from Flask imports imports sorry imports. There's no module name for Flask. That is, we don't have any of this configured. But here in my Python console, I have access to the packages installed in my development container. And this is the usefulness of having a Python interpreter connected directly to your cluster. So having to install packages locally, you can have them installed in your development container, work with them without having to do extra stress, install and waste more space on your machine. At Octero, we are here to make development easier for you. And you know, now I can these packages and I know what I can. You can easily keep track. And when I click on this, I have the documentation. So you see, it is really, really um useful to know i can search i can have flask i can search for those installed and i can see all these installed and i can see all these normally so it is very important to connect your pycharm editor and this same process works for goland and for ruby mine and for webstorm too so you can connect virtually any of your development container to your pycharm and if you like this video please do like and subscribe share and we will be having a community call on the 26th of august please do attend. Thank you very much.